Hey there, awesome that you're here again. And if you're here for the first time and want to get updates, please subscribe and like the videos. So let's continue where we left off. Doc is still deconstructing. The other two are fast asleep and we need to get building. We want to expand this stuff and we want to prepare for the harvesting season. So what we're going to do this episode, we're going to plan out where we're going to put our crops. We're going to make a real room for Anderson. And we're going to chop up some mountains to make some space. While doing all that, of course, we hope Randy doesn't give us too much trouble. Although an event here and there would be nice. So let's start out with the first two rooms. We have plenty of granite left over from our last building projects. And we would be able to do this just now. Later on, we will chop up some more chunks. And with Ashuta and Doc working together, this will take no time at all. Almost 24 hours later, both rooms are finished. So we're gonna put Henderson's bed in there and also make her a nice marble dresser. And we're gonna make her a wooden statue somewhat later on. This way, all the colonists have the same room. This means we also need to install the marble tiling in here and we're also expanding that the hallway. With Doc asleep, Anderson mining and Ashuta doing the construction, everything is going quite well. In the meanwhile, we have our first event happening and we get a transport crash. So let's see what's in there. As you can see, it's some insect jelly. It's not the greatest, we already have some. But we might as well take it. The taste is quite good, or at least that's what they told me. As you can see over here, Doc is chopping up the last bits of rice. So the insect jelly is always welcome. We're also gonna allow butchering human corpses again. This will give Henderson and Ashuta a small debuff. I think it's minus six, but this way Doc will get her favorite meals again, the cannibal meals, and the other girls can split the simple meals. Last episode, we also noticed Someone was wearing tethered apparel, so we're gonna make some tux, but we're also gonna make a parka, so we can get this buff gone as well. Ashuta is constructing the marble dresser, so the room for Henderson is a little bit nicer, and after finishing the tiles, it will be done. We get a quest from Randy, and although I thought we would take on our next quest, if we look at the world map, this is actually quite distant. Not really far if we see it on the map, but remember, this is the cold bog, and moving there is really low. So moving this small amount is going to take us four days there, four days back, and we're not going to risk that for colonists. We don't even know, and we can't check that stuff. So, next day, Ashuta wakes up and Doc continues research. Ashuta will continue the construction of the hallway and Henderson will do another hunting trip. This will be nice target practice for her new assault rifle. And as we can see, even the mighty hare doesn't have a chance against the assault rifle. However, hunting is not without risk and at the moment a lynx is hunting Henderson. She just had her second prey, which was a rat and a lynx thought hmm i could use that as well so the lynx is now hunting henderson and i'm quite sure we'll get henderson within our borders on time however this time we're not going to be cowards and the lynx is also food so let's take it the lynx is also a nice target practice for henderson but somehow even with an assault rifle she cannot get it down it does level up she's now level three she doesn't know it yet, but sneaky as it is, this lynx sneaks up on her. It moves so fast, Anderson misses. I think she was a little bit frightened. After closing the door, I was actually hoping that the traps would help us a little bit. But somehow, the lynx managed to dodge them. I hope we weren't too cocky inviting this lynx near our base, so let's call in some backup. We're gonna get a shootout with her big ass club and she'll get the links down. I'm sure of that. And as we can see here, she manages to get it down without getting hit. So instead of becoming food for the links, we now have a links for food. Anderson does need some treatment again and maybe we can improve her armor for later hunting trips. So I noticed in the evenings it gets quite dark inside the cabin, so I'm 
placing some extra wall lights and we'll also light up the rooms that we made the next day henderson is back on her feet this means we're back to having fully operational colonists again and henderson will continue hunting ashuta is hauling some stuff and cleaning the base and doc is still busy with researching also we get an event in the form of a exotics goods trade so we can probably sell a lot of stuff again mainly the leathers and maybe the psychic animal pulsar although with the number of predators on this map i think it's kind of useful so i think we better keep it so we did just finish machining and i wanted to use this for either prosthetics or gunsmithing prosthetics being the most favorable option because we can improve a shooter a little bit more however I think we're gonna change the plan a little bit. I want to get rid of our generator. I think it's labor intensive and it uses wood all the time. And I would go to solar panel and maybe windmills. So then we need a battery and we need the solar power um, researched. So we're gonna do that. And of course, let's not forget the trader. Ashuta will do the bartering again, and we can get rid of a few things here. Or actually, no things. Yeah, we can get rid of the psychic animal pulsar or a wood sculpture, but I don't want to get rid of that. So I'm guessing this trader gets nothing from us, and he doesn't have anything that we want to have, so... Yeah, let's, let's keep it like this. I do like the Arcotec arm, but we don't have nearly enough silver for that so yeah that's too bad Ashuta is busy with the marble dresser this room is for our next colonist or maybe a bedroom and the next day we're gonna chop some wood we're gonna use this wood to make a fence and this fence will protect our farm well maybe protecting is kind of a big word it is gonna make sure random animals won't eat our crops because wood as you know, it is not really fireproof, so yeah, I just hope they won't throw molotovs and stuff at it. But we need to start somewhere, and I don't want the animals to eat our stuff. So Doc decided to improve her skills. First, we're going to do some tests, and we're going to start with two patches of 50 tiles. One patch is going to be psychite, and the other patch is going to be smoke leaf. The two 5x5 five five patches are going to be corn and heel root. Of course, we also have our fertile land patches. We're going to use that for rice, so we can stock up on that as quickly as possible. And I'm guessing the traders didn't want to leave us with nothing, so we got in total one component. Wow. Thanks, guys. Luckily, Randy also thought that was a little underwhelming, so he sends another trader our way. This is a bulk goods trader, so we're quite sure we can sell the letters to him. This will clean up our storage again and we get a nice and clean inventory. In the top left corner of the base you can see all the stacks of wood that Ashuta chopped down. And we're gonna haul this and after this we can make our fence. Once again Ashuta is going to do the bartering for us and over here we can see we can get rid of quite some stuff. We're gonna get rid of the insect meat. I've been told that the meals are not that great. And we can also get rid of our leather stuffs. They do have one item that interests me, and that item is a neutro amin. And the neutro amin we can use in our drug production later on. So best to have some in stock. After that, it's time to place our fence. We're gonna place the fence around our fields so the wild animals can't eat our crops. And as told before, we're gonna make this out of wood. We should have plenty now. Next to placing the fences, I decided to make two of the plots a little bit bigger as well. These two plots, yeah, it could go a little bit bigger, so why not? Let's just do it. They'll be here and we're going to focus on a lot of plant work. So it's going to be fine. As you can see, Henderson is an awesome addition to our colony and together with Ashuta, they are preparing and also constructing at the same time. This will speed up the work enormously and I think this is a good thing. Having an extra colonist does strain our food supply a little bit more and as you can see we don't have a lot left. 
so later on we'll do some hunting. Wow, look at her go. She's really, really fast. It's now time to assign the animals we want to hunt. Henderson is our dedicated hunter because of her animal skill. However, her shooting skill is not that great yet. So this is a nice practice for her to gain shooting skill as well. Ashita being a perfectionist, of course, she needs to finish that little bit of wooden fence before she does something else. Just before midnight, Doc finishes the battery research. So next up is the solar panels. If we get this done before summer, we have no need for our wooden generator anymore. And we can do a small redesign of the kitchen and freezer area. At the moment, however, we still need it. So at the moment, everything in our colony is going quite smoothly. Doc is doing the occasional research. Henderson is hunting and bringing in prey and Ashuta is doing the cleaning. As you can see, also the mood of the ladies is quite high. This is going rather well, I would say. So I'm quite curious what Randy has up his sleeve for us. It's been quiet for a couple of days. Of course, we had the ancient danger, but yeah, that was more because we wanted it. And I don't know what's going to happen. I was thinking maybe we could increase the difficulty a little bit, but I don't know if that will result in harder events or in more events. So what do you think? Should we up the difficulty to see if we get more events or is this fine at the moment? Let me know in the comments and I will change it later on. So during the day, not a lot of activity except this mad Ibex doe. It is charging Doc and Doc is gonna try and get it down with the shotgun. And it's actually an instant kill. Plus, usually these guys are going to a rotting state immediately because of the manhunter state. But this one doesn't, so we can use it for more food. Doc chops it up immediately, and after that it is time for some more research. Research continues till 12 o'clock, and in the meanwhile, Ashuta is chopping up more trees. Anderson is already off to bed, and it won't be long before Doc and Ashuta will join her. And with this day ending, we also are at the first day of spring. Temperatures will rise again, and this is what we're waiting for, because we want to plant our crops. We want smoke leaf, we want cycide, because we want to start cooking. I hope I see you next time. Thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe if you like this content.